For our testimony this evening, our speaker was born in Dallas, Texas, went to Lee High School, graduate of the University of Texas, 10 years an Airborne Ranger, followed by four years of seminary in which he received two master's degrees, followed by a year of work on his Ph.D., and uh, because of the necessity of getting publications out at the over at TMP, he has been pulled out of, what shall I call it, Illinois, somewhere up there, to come back and to join the staff at TMP, the editorial staff, in order to begin and in the writing of the materials that I'm putting together. He joins Wayne Hill in this function. And I thought it would be apropos to officially launch him before this large firing squad. And it is my pleasure to present to you Robert V. Thien III. You can, uh, you can relax, I'm not taking over. <laughs> I'm not even preaching tonight. So. It, was, uh, it was 20 years ago this week that I, uh, that I packed up my Volkswagen bus and, uh, and I said goodbye to my parents. In fact, it was right out here on the parking lot of Baraka Church. And I left for college. And I have not resided in the city of Houston uh, since that time, so I've actually been gone for about 20 years. Although, of course, I've been back for visits uh, and occasionally an extended visit. But this has not been my home for about 20 years uh, until last week. And uh, this has been kind of a strange week for me. I, uh, in the 20 years that uh, I've been gone, and uh, in about 10 or 15 years prior to that, I guess all told about 30 years, the only residence that I've known in the city of Houston uh, is my parents' home. And uh, I've been waking up in a, in a strange house for the last week. And it really doesn't seem like Houston to me. But then, of course, all I have to do is, is walk outside and... Uh, and <laughs> And feel the weather a little bit, and, uh, and I recall that, uh, that this is, in fact, Houston. But, of course, as, as Dad told you, I spent about half of that 20 years in the Army. Uh, and in December of 1982, I left the service for a number of reasons, <clears throat> not the least of which was uh, the desire to attend a seminary and in some way uh, be involved in a ministry. And, of course, in the back of my mind, during that entire time that I spent in seminary, which was, as he said, four and a half years in, in Portland, Oregon, and another year of Ph.D. work at Trinity in, uh, in Chicago, where Candy and I lived in Lake Forest, a little north of Chicago, that entire time in the back of my mind was always the thought that maybe there's a possibility that at the end of all this, I can come back to Houston and be involved in a ministry that I think is not only the most important ministry in the world, but also to have the privilege of, of working uh, with a man that I respect, not only as a father, but as a great pastor teacher. And uh, that dream, that, that thought was realized last week when I returned here. Uh, it's, uh, it's been one that, uh, again, as I say, has been heavily on my mind these four and a half and five years of preparation. And uh, the powers that be here that make decisions like that decided several months ago that uh, there was a place for me here, that there was a job that I could do, that there was something that I could add to this ministry, which, let me tell you, thrills me no end because I see no more important job in life for me than to perpetuate and, in fact, help disseminate that which has come from this pulpit for the last 38 years. And uh, that's my job here. I'm, uh, as I tried to say in a funny way, I'm the second man or even lower on the totem pole, but that's fine with me. That's where I want to be because the most important thing is what comes from this pulpit. 
And, uh, and of course, another thing I'd like to say is it's also a great privilege for me to sit up here every night uh, and occasionally stand in front of you, as I'm doing now, and look into your eyes and in your faces and realize that the people in this auditorium are as dedicated to what's going on here as I am. And uh, that can only be great not only for you personally, spiritually, but also for our nation. And uh, as you well know, you are the pivot, and there are very few like you in this country. And I've had the opportunity in my travels in the last 20 years to see what's out there. And uh, it's a great privilege for me to be back among you on a permanent basis. Thank you.